I have my boot camp coming up. I think this is going to be the last boot camp for the next few months. But I got my boot camp coming up this uh, Saturday, 9 to 1. And we're going to be talking about We had some. I had some really good feedback for those that tapped into my free workshop last Thursday on uh, how to raise private money, how to raise capital for a business, especially for a real estate investing business and what that looks like and the fundamentals behind that. So I'm going to dive in a little bit deeper than I usually do in my boot camp um, on uh, this upcoming Saturday. So I'm going to talk about that. We're going to talk about, we're going to get into small apartments a little bit. My previous boot camps, I didn't really go a lot into it, but I've kind of formalized a lot of what we did with buying four apartment buildings last year and what that looked like, refinancing one and just kind of going full cycle and what that looks like to help you build wealth. So if that's something you're interested in, small apartments, you know, for the, the renovation, the first strategy with buying in, because there's still cash flow properties. We put a part, we put an offer in our property yesterday uh, for 120K in Panama City. And so uh, hopefully we hear back today on what the buyer's gonna do. It came on the market yesterday and I went straight with the agent that listed it to represent the offer in. And uh, we'll see where it ends up. So little stuff like that where you just take an action. You don't have to get home runs every deal. Just get base hits, you know, something like that. Then we'll be looking at like 50, 60K uh, with a three-month turnaround on the project, the short end. It shouldn't take that long. Because uh, honestly, as long as we don't have to update the electrical or plumbing, because it was last renovated in 85. And uh, it's all brick. It's already got a roof over it. It's already got an HVAC in place. So... If we get in just carpet paint, update, update the light fixtures, we don't have to replace any wire or plumbing, then we should be in and out in less than a month. Um, so I'm super excited. Hopefully we can get that one. And uh, yeah, just do a deal. So looking forward to the boot camp coming up. We're going to talk about raising money, everything that you need. I'm an open book. Well, my coaching clients, I'm here to help you succeed. I set them up uh, for success with the strategies they need to be a wealth. And that's it. You know, whether it's self-directed IRAs, we're going to have somebody come in and talk about those, you know, taxes, tax strategies, estate planning, all that stuff that you need to build and protect your wealth. Having a community of people that's going through it, that's been there, done that, that set up their plans, that have a wealth of information, and they, they don't mind sharing because it's a community. So that's what we're all about uh, with my mentorship and coaching. And uh, these boot camps are geared to give you everything that you need. You know, some people want to be autonomous. I was autonomous for a long time, up until a couple of years ago, just doing deals, you know, putting in the work and, uh, you know, have a conservative underwriting approach and boom, going through. But I'll tell you, my journey has been that much more fulfilling, aligning with the right groups, uh, whether it's with uh, Military to Millionaire War Room, uh, with my group of guys there, which we're coming up in March, we three years together, uh, which is a paid mastermind. And then another one, uh, Seven Figure Flipping last year was a great opportunity. Uh, just meeting a whole nother net, uh, network of real estate investors, doing it at a high level. That uh, I created my business to a certain extent where we have a few employees that work for us. And uh, I still got my day job, clearly, uh, with my uniform on. So, you know, my goal has never been to flip 20, 30 houses a year. You know, I'm like, hey, we flip 10, 12. That's, that's fine. That's a great year. Because we don't live off any of this income. We just take it, you know, we cherry pick something to keep as rentals. And then we take the rest and then just buy apartments with it. And then you look up, you know, you do that for three, four years. And you got more than enough to retire 